Hey guys, we are the Nerd Council, and we got sponsored! Yes, 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 yes. That's a first. That's really, really cool, really cool, really cool. Um, and the coolest thing is, we got sponsored by a comic book called Keys to Zodia. It's really cool. Uh, it's sitting around like a post-apocalyptic mm -hmm. world uh, with an adventure like guided by the stars. Yeah, so in the first two issues, we're introduced to a pair of siblings who have mysterious powers gained from deities based on the zodiac sign. So throughout the adventure, they encounter bandits, talking creatures, and try to discover more about themselves. And uh, we really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, my take on it, I really like the illustrations. It looks really professional, and there's a bit of humor strewn throughout the comic. Yeah. So really that cool owl me. was sarcastic as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a really interesting characters you're really yeah. going to like. Um, but I liked it. It kept me really interested the whole time. And uh, check out our uh, description below. We're going to have mm -hmm. links to the social media pages as well. So let us know what you think. Yeah. See you guys. See ya. Hey, everybody. My name is Rock. I'm Phil. I'm Martin. And we are the Nerd Council. Uh, we recently decided to pick up Demon Slayer thanks to all yeah, the comments, yeah. likes, and views we got. Did really well. Yeah, yeah. I'm really <laughs> excited to watch this one because it's honestly great. I'm on episode like seven or eight right now. I don't exactly remember, so not too far in. Wow. But uh, I'm looking forward to watching the whole thing. Yeah, so we're about to start up with episode two. Let's all right, that. let's get going. It's a really good drawn show. Yeah, no, so beautiful, honestly. You, you haven't even seen like the whole thing yet. It gets really crazy. One of our commentators mentioned that her bond between family is stronger than her demon side, so she really wants to, you know, work it out. Yeah. Oh, she wants to be a demon. <laughs> She's like a proud little brother. I mean, a proud uh, older bro brother. He's like, oh, she got so big. Oh no. Oh. Time to unbuckle that 
thing in her mouth to save it. Jeez. This must be a demon. Oh, he. I didn't know they could talk.
そんなものではとどめはさせん天狗の面この人あっしとかしなかったどどうしたらとどめをさせますか人に聞くな自分の頭で考えられないのかさしてもダメなら頭も潰すしか頭骨を砕いて完全に潰すには苦しむだろうな。ありがとうございます。苦しむだろうな。一時期で説明させられるようなものはないのか。ああ、いいですね。この子はダメだ。思いやりが強すぎて決断もできない。鬼を前にしても。
they're both they, they're, the whole like yeah. family just seems to be like really like honest to God good like people, you know. That's that's Japanese culture though. It's like yeah, everyone it's looks culture. out for each other. It's not. Well, you don't see that in animes all the time, you know. That's like true. To where you have somebody this like kind hearted getting pushed into a role where he's gonna have to kill, you know. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, no, I think that's right. Like the links. That's, that's like the anime like character run. I think it's because it's like cheaper than doing this and it looks like better. It's kind of funny when you just like close the door and it's just like, okay, that's run. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I looked at this. Although I haven't been done, noticed that some of the anime is like borrowed so they actually do do the. Yeah, they do. I think it's actually it's actually more efficient to run this way. Yeah, no, it is, but like it's cheaper to do an animation this way. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, he accepted him. He steered it. I mean he made That's it down by before day day was all beat up. Yeah. Alright, let's start off with uh, Martin this time. What do you think? Like I said, I'm on episode 7 or 8, so I've already seen this you mean, one. You mean Phil? I said, yep, I'm in, mid, I'm in Phil, <laughs> but I definitely said, said, said <laughs> Martin. Yeah, so, right. was that that a, uh, no, I, was, yeah, I was really enjoyed that episode. Um, it was a really cool fight. You get to see him uh, you know, against the demon, and it was really creative. I didn't realize the demon could grow arms from its head. Yeah, and, uh, it was pretty cool. And you really get to see him tested this episode, you know, like, uh, I guess his mentor didn't think that he had it in him to, to kill, and I guess he didn't have to kill because the sunlight got the demon, but I think his kindness can become actually, like, a, a benefit to him, you know, I don't think you need to be a cold-hearted person to be able to kill demons, I think mm. you can be kind at the same time, mm. and maybe that kindness will ultimately help help them in the end. Uh, so I think it's to become an asset rather than a detriment. So, you know, I think he has a lot of potential and yes. I think they have a long journey ahead of them. And I think, I really like the mentor character. He seems like he's really wanting to help out and um, has the best out for them. So it was a good episode. Like, and again, like we mentioned during the show, like they're all super nice. And mm. it's just so great to see that kindness just like blossoming throughout like him and like other characters. Yeah. So it's cool to see that. I remember when I first started watching this, just because I watched so much like anime, I was fully in I fully expected him to either like go crazy, like, oh my god, I can't believe my family's dead. Because that's that's yeah. happened in some oh, yeah. like anime where they something bad happens and they just like lose it. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, he actually kept his composure and kept his heart, which was yeah. like really like different for for anime. It's really 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 cool to see. Yeah, he's Tanjiro is a, uh, just a unique character personally. I, I like him. I'm attached to him already. You know, he's friendly, but he does what he needs to do as like a young man. And then thrown into a scenario where he loses his whole family. Like if that was a you know anybody else, like that would be so hard to deal with. But he seemed to be very optimistic, and he's he's characterized that way. And I really like that about him. I mean, he's going to do well, I think, in the show. Um, but like that fight with the demon, I thought again, like him hitting him with the hatchet, I thought that was it, you know, like yeah. he got him, but the demons are really resilient yeah. in this show. I think it's going to be unique how he ends up training and how to fight them and become like this hero that we're yeah. all expecting. I, I stopped watching this show because I wanted to watch it with you guys to oh, catch up. Oh, that'd be cool. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is why I stopped on 7 or 8, yeah. but. Uh, but uh, you guys from what I have seen though, the powers are pretty like they yeah. varied, which is really cool because I like it when it's not just a cut and dry thing. You know, what I mean, there there's that element, there's the element of surprise, you know, like added into every single fight mm -hmm. scene. Yeah. yeah that's All right. Cool. Oh, sorry. You really good? No, it's cool. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So just for an for an outro, my name is Rock. I'm Phil. I'm Martin. And we are the Nerd Council. We'll see you next time, guys. Right, thanks for watching.